Make sure that they're having fun, uh, talk to them, help them to paint, color, you know, make it exciting. Muslim them. woman unveiled by Hezdihar al -Bawiyah. You look at me and call me oppressed simply because of the way I'm dressed. You know me not for what's inside. You judge the clothing I wear with pride. My body is not for your eyes to hold. You must speak to my mind, not my feminine mold. I am an individual, I am no man's slave. It's Allah's pleasure that I only crave. I have a voice so I will be heard. From my heart I carry his word. O oh, ye women, wrap close your cloak, so you won't be bothered by ignorant folk. Man doesn't tell me to dress this way. It's a law from God that I Oppressed is something I'm truly not, for liberation is what I've got. It was given to me many centuries ago. The right to prosper, the right to grow. I can climb mountains or cross seas, expand my mind in all degrees. For God himself gave us liberty when he sent Islam to you and me. Are you all enjoying yourselves today? Yes. Are you happy to see us today? Yes. Okay, we have uh, a fun time in store for you guys. The reason why we separated the smaller kids and the bigger kids is because we have something special for the bigger girls. Okay? Yes. I'm going to introduce that a little later on. So my name is Monira Hassan. I'm from an organization called Sultan Bahu Center. We're based in Mayfair. And these are some of the types of drives that we do, right? Uh, we've been to Kids Haven before, but we've not been to this side of Kids Haven. So we're very honored to have met such lovely young ladies. Some of you are as young as 10 years old, but you're going to benefit from the special talk that we're going to have soon. Okay, and I hope you take the advice that we are here to give you today from it. Use it to the best of, of your knowledge. Yeah, right? <coughs> My job is to uh, help people get from a point where they are in their life, where they are right now, to a point where they want to go. So where they're stuck right now, they want to go to this point. It's not a person that does help with uh, emotional problems and you know, we go into the past. We don't really do all that. We work with people that are, they know where they want to go, but they are here and they don't know how to get to that point. So that's my job as a coach. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys we're gonna interact. It's not, I'm not gonna talk here and, and uh, you know just uh, just let you listen to me. You're gonna have to listen what I'm saying. Gonna ask you questions, and then you're gonna we're gonna interact. So it's gonna be really fun. I need you guys to be fun. I need to be open. I need to just just be free. Don't think anyone's watching you. Just be yourself. So, but that was before. That was before. Now. After a while, I decided I'm going to do something about it. I, gotta, I can't go my whole life like this. So I decided my first uh, venture into becoming self-confident is I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Do you guys know where is Mount Kilimanjaro? Yes. Okay, it's in, uh, in Tanzania. It's the highest mountain of Africa. So I was a team of my, you know, a few of my friends, we climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. And I cannot tell you, the amazing feeling for the first time in my life, I felt like a giant. Like a giant where I could feel more than I ever thought I could be. My mind shifted to say, I'm not that not good enough, worthless person. I can be more than that. And it's like that. Come on, we can do it. Start again. Come on. Alert, awake. Alive, alert, awake. Enthusiastic. Oh, wow. Wow. Alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. 
I'm alive, awake, alert. I'm alert, awake, alert. I'm alive, awake, alert. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Now I'm going to move on to the next uh, thing. I want you to all tell me what, what are some of the qualities that you think you are. This is also about self-confidence. Yes. Let me give you an example, right? I, my best quality is, of, is called integrity. Now, integrity means uh, when you say something, you do it, you're committed, you don't like someone to lie, you won't, I won't lie to somebody, I don't like someone to lie to me. That's integrity. Behind the veil, I am the queen. I have a body that nobody sees. Many people think I'm oppressed and wonder how I got myself into this mess. My veil is my cue and makes my heart pure. It earns me my love from Allah, my Lord, and makes me strong against any sword. Behind my beautiful veil lies my savior from the temptation of guys. Behind my veil, I begin to say, is where I shall forever stay. <laughs>